Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is on the updated Road Dog. He got, uh, at this time anyway, two of his moves adjusted for the better in my opinion. Um, definitely was needed and I think he plays a lot better. Um, I just got my Road Dog to three star, so I'll show you what a three star bronze uh, Road Dog looks like. Um, the free fall drop was a random uh, yellow generator. It's now a choose move, so you're choosing those yellows instead of them being random. And the finisher used to destroy yellows, now it destroys blacks. Uh, I like that change as well. It makes the tricolor build much more viable. And the, the black move we're using uh, makes three random gems into red. But all of his gem generation is plus two for the month, so he'll actually be making five into red and choosing five instead of three. Um, for the entourage, I'm going to go with Dolph Ziggler. Uh, so we're choosing 7, which with the bonus is 9. And Sting to get started faster with that red MP. X-Pac coaching uh, so that the reds charge faster if we need it. Um, I do have tour perks active, starting with 1 MP more. Um, no extra from the matches yet. Still pretty low on that, so 1 MP more there. Uh, let's get in here and take a look at Road Dog. I'm going to go to the new uh, tour on normal mode for the, the month long here, the tanks, Thanks and Tanks tour open mode. Take on Bruno. He's a uh, 900 talent higher than us, so um, I should show off how decently the moveset works. I've done a few matches with the Road Dog this way. It's definitely a lot better um, with this moveset. Pretty fun to play, certainly going to be uh, usable. Ideally, we want a red match on turn one. We don't have it, but we do have black, so that's a good second option. Not quite enough to fill it. And we are going to pick up the red here, so that's nice. So a couple ways uh, I could go with this. Uh, I could put the reds out there and do some more damage if we wanted to, but I'm just going to go with the choose here. A lot of yellow on the board, so I think you should be able to get some big damage out of this. Drop these three here. That'll drop the red, and we'll get a red match too. Five match there. And let's do that and that. There we go. 20k damage. Not, not amazing, but not bad at all. So we have the finisher loaded and it's going to deal healthy damage. So we'll just hit the shaky knee drop. Hit the finisher and win the match. And you can see between the, the shaky knee drop there and then the red we made, we would have filled the finisher or the choose move to go another round. Um, I'll just hit the finisher to end it. So a lot better... Um, a lot better flow to this moveset. If you do need to recycle, you get usually at least a semi-recycle, or you can get reds on the board. Give you a lot more outs. Um, and that was against a higher opponent, so... Um, the really good board, uh, equal opponent, I think you could probably finish him with the choose move. But either way, you're going to be able to get to the finisher, no problem. Do one more against Bruno, just so you guys can see what it looks like. I am really interested to get the 4 star move in the mix now with this build set. That's the 3 MP black that buffs yellow gem damage. Um, I believe it's for 3 turns or maybe at higher levels it's even 4 turns. But it buffs it very large uh, in the 90% range I think it was when I was previewing him at 5 star. So um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, certainly Road Dog is a much more attractive character now and looks to be pretty solid, definitely usable. So I'm curious to see how that four star set works. Uh, no red again. Uh, I don't really want him to get green. 
but it takes them a while to fill it so it's not the end of the world the board's not looking great for us this is this is good though we need two more reds so we can do this row break and next turn we'll be ready with the choose okay So we can make a row break out of the black gems right here. So I'm gonna do that. That'll give us a row there. And can do the same right here. Get those blacks along with a bunch more yellows. So we should get some pretty good damage out of this. Not too shabby. Enough damage that the finisher ends it. So even if um, even if we were going up against someone with uh, maybe another 10, 15,000 hit points, you can see with a good choose move, we hit 7k here, and then another 16, almost 17k there. Um, so that's like 24k plus we're destroying some gems. So you could probably take on opponents almost 2k higher and win pretty easily with this move set if things go your way. Uh, this one we're going to destroy this black and the, the red's going to give a row break too. So uh, if we had to recycle, the reds are going to be ready to go. So pretty strong move set now. Um, the, the first red is a little bit higher charge. So that's the only downside. But uh, much more powerful, much more usable, much better flow. Um, so went from being a very, very not too good character to being uh, usable now, and uh, looks like he should be pretty fun to play. So that definitely changes uh, how far I was going to take him. I was definitely going to stop at 9k. Um, we'll see how the month goes and how my resources are, but I think there's a decent chance that I might consider taking him um, four-star gold now um, since he has a really great coach ability. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful. Um, let me know what you think in the in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.